Do you have any stretch marks? <laughs> yes, I do have stretch marks. I have stretch marks um, on my sides, like where my love handles, which I never even had love handles before I got pregnant. Do you guys feel me? Did anybody else like not understand what that looked like until you had kids and then you're like, what, where, what is this? Like, what is this stuff coming out of my sides? Is there anything I do to prepare for labor? Yes, I love bouncing. Am I crooked now? I don't know guys. I love being on my exercise ball. I kind of bounce on that. I don't know if that's preparing for labor. I feel like it's kind of get everything loose and open and moving down. I psych myself out by watching labor and delivery videos. I watch the business of being born. I love watching like bringing home baby and those kind of shows. It just kind of makes it more fun, you know? It like makes the process more fun. I watch vlogs about pregnancy and so mentally that's kind of how I do it. There's also a really good book by Ina Mae Gaskin that is talk that talks about labor and delivery. And then I also spend a lot of time in the word and I know that this video I feel like I've been talking about my faith a lot, which I don't do that in all my videos. But it's, but it's true, I, I spend a lot of time reading the Bible and scripture and just um, trying to fill myself with positive stuff and get rid of the negative crap. People love to share horror stories with labor and delivery. They love to share how hard it is to have now four kids. They love to share just all the stuff that you're gonna figure out, but really you don't need to fill your mind with. Do you have any sense about her personality or have you with your other children while in the womb? Oh, that's a really good question, Kaylin. Um, I don't, I don't really think so. I don't know. Um, she seems busy. I think she's a little bit of a spitfire like Fiona because she moves all the time. She's going, 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 going. I think both of my girls are gonna be world changers. <laughs> With Ezra and Fiona, I did not have a feeling in the womb. With Jude, I did. With Jude, I felt this I don't know how to describe it, but I felt this connection when I was pregnant with Jude that I hadn't had with my other pregnancies. I felt like I knew he was calm. I felt like I knew he was going to be laid back. And I just had this sense about him. And then when he was born, it all came together. I was like, yes, you are Jude. You, I know you. You've been in my belly for the last 10 months growing. And I just knew him and his personality. I didn't have that with my others. I don't know why, I just didn't. Have you had any anxiety through this pregnancy due to your miscarriage? How have you handled it and what has helped? I did have a lot of anxiety in the beginning of my pregnancy. I felt like almost it was a little difficult to attach to this pregnancy because I was so nervous of losing the pregnancy in the beginning. Um, I just wanted this baby so bad. I didn't, I didn't wanna go through the loss again and I just want it. All I can, I just remember just thinking like, I just want this baby, I want this baby. And so I did have a lot of anxiety in the beginning, um, but as I felt her move and um, I don't know, a lot of that has calmed down. When you love without holding back, there is a little bit of that fear because you're so vulnerable of losing that, that baby and losing that piece of you, but I don't think I have like a crippling anxiety. I have experienced just some grief through this pregnancy of my miscarriage, kind of still griefing through that and healing of my past miscarriage. Of course, thinking about just that baby and thinking about what could be, but I know that I believe that God is sovereign and I believe that his plans are perfect even in the midst of us not knowing. And so I try not to focus too much on what could have been because I really believe that what is is what God wills and that's that's kind of what I just I lay my faith down and I um I put my hope in. Do you have any stretch marks? <laughs> yes, I do have stretch marks. I have stretch marks um on my sides like where my love handles, which I never even had love handles before I got pregnant. Do you guys feel me? Did anybody else like not understand what that looked like until you had kids and then you're like what, where, what is this? Like, what is this stuff coming out of my sides? <laughs> I don't know, but I've got some stretch marks down the sides of my like upper thighs, kind of on my butt. I have none on my stomach, and I think that's because it's genetic. My mom has none on her stomach either. But I do like on parts of my thighs and my butt because my butt and my thighs get pregnant when I'm pregnant, you guys, so yes. And then I do have some on 
on the girls just from, you know, nursing and not nursing and nursing and not nursing and, you know, there's a lot of moving and grooving going on there over the last, you know, five years of having babies and nursing them. All right, the last question is, I'm experiencing, currently experiencing intense nausea. Was there anything specific that you tried? Oh, I hate this question. Oh, mama, I'm so sorry that you're going through this. I'm gonna probably say what everybody else says, which is keep that belly full, try to eat as much as you can, avoid stuff that's greasy. You get to a point, at least I did, where I was so sick I didn't want to eat and I didn't want to throw up. So I would just like drink Gatorade or I would just, you know, just almost feel so awful I didn't care and I would just want to sleep. And as much as that's understandable, it's so bad for your body like it just really is and then it gives you you get dehydrated and you feel weak I had ketones in my urine and it was just it's a rough place to be in girl I feel you and I'll be praying for you because it is it is hard like that in itself is reason for me to not want to be pregnant again because it is so so hard it really is um I I lived off of pink lady apples, that specific kind. They have like the most, they have really, really good nutrients in them. And they're sweet, and so they're, but they're crisp and tart. They're really, really good. And so pink lady apples, I don't know, apples seem to be super easy for me to digest. My husband would buy them by the bag like every other day because I would just go through them. All right, guys, so those are all the questions. Thank you so much for such great questions. I'm happy to be able to have answered them, especially because I haven't done consistent pregnancy vlogs this pregnancy. So I hope that um, that was interesting and answered your guys' questions. As always, comment down below and share with me whatever you'd like to share. If you have any other questions or if you just want to connect in the comments, we can do so. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. I love you, and I will see you guys next time.